excited to be participating in a Christmas in July open collab hosted by Mama Dares to DIY and Sweet Urban Rose. Both ladies have wonderful channels full of wonderful DIYs, crafts. There are seasonal, farmhouse, trash to treasure, all kinds of things. I highly recommend watching their videos. Their channels are listed in the description box down below as well as the playlist. I thrifted this frame from Habitat for Humanity. The price says $3 but I paid half price so it only cost me $1.50. I love the detail on this frame and I like the gold because I wanted to paint over it but then distress it to let the gold shine through. I used Waverly chalk paint in the color lacquer because I knew that it would be pretty for Christmas to have the gold come through on that. It only took one coat to cover this frame. Once the paint dried, I just sanded it and sanded all the edges of it to let that gold pop through. And while I'm sanding, let me tell you about my other channel, Susan Southern Cooking. If you like good Southern cooking, please go head on over there and check it out. It's listed in the description box down below. Now this frame didn't have a backing and it was an odd size so I used these jumbo craft sticks to give me a backing for it. I painted the backing in uh, Waverly Chalk Paint in white. I wanted a clean background to highlight my decoration. I decided to um, cut a, another jumbo craft stick in half to give support to the back. I've gotten these Christmas cards in the mail many, many years ago. I think my sons were little bitty babies then, and I've just had them, and I thought they were so pretty. Now I put it in there this way because of the hanger on the back but I just stuck tucked it in there so that I could change out if any time I wanted to and then I just decorated the sides with the gold star garland that I had in my stash as well as some beads and um, red beads and pearl beads and just decorated it the way that I felt like it would look good I had a few other cards and it was really hard to pick out which one I liked the best. They were all of little children, you know, angels, and this way I can swap them out anytime I wanted to. And I just glued down my garland and my beads with just little dots of hot glue, arranging them in a way that made me happy. And here she is, finished. I think it turned out pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. And until next time, bye.